All right, guys, so today I'm doing something a little bit different on my video, and I'm out here in my front yard pruning back this crepe myrtle tree. Now, what this is not is a how to prune a crepe myrtle video. This is not how you prune a crepe myrtle. In fact, this technique of pruning crepe myrtles is often referred to as crepe murder. So the reason I've come out today to cut this one is because you can see right here, the last time this tree was pruned was right here, and you can see where it branched from there. And I did this seven years ago this spring and in the meantime it's grown up into the power lines and when it gets up into the power lines that's obviously a bad thing eventually our city will come by here and cut this back to nothing and they'll do things to this tree that i wouldn't want them to do anyway so since this tree was planted in a bad spot uh, the best way that i can manage this tree is just by giving it a hardcore crepe murder pruning but what i really want to show you today is not really so much the pruning of the tree but the tool that I'm pruning it with. This is a reciprocating saw by DeWalt. I don't care what brand yours is, just DeWalt is a reputable brand product for power tools. And this is a battery powered saw. And this is typically used in construction um, as a construction tool, you know, on any type of um, building site, demolition site, anything like that. But I wanna show you today how this is really like one of the ultimate tools for a homeowner, a nursery owner, that type of thing because of how versatile it is. And I wanna show you today how you can use it to even do really heavy duty pruning on a tree like an overgrown crepe myrtle where some of these stems that I'm cutting are three, four, five plus inches thick. So check this out today as I show you a pretty cool tool. Now before we, before we prune the tree, I just wanna show you that this, this tool is super versatile. By the way, I'm not trying to hawk this tool or anything. I don't get paid for this or anything though. Uh, there is one of these included in the link right below if you want to have a look at one but just so you see what i'm using and there's a little bit more compact version of this there as well but i just want to show you this because it's a great tool for any homeowner and we'll get back to the tree trimming in a minute but i also want you to see that you can use this to cut metal to cut wood to cut wood with nails to do demolition of things like sheetrock metal whatever and it's just a great tool so i just want you to just know that and in a nursery you know when you build things like like you know a shade house or a shade structure just kind of putting up various things to prop plastic up on or to put shade cloth on or whatever it is you always need a saw and hardly any of those applications like that do you need like a, a you know a cross cut saw or anything that's precise i mean so much of what i do out here is kind of well, that's close enough, cut it, and let's go. So anyway, the Sawzall is just kind of a great tool for that. And you can, um, a lot of times in a nursery, if, you know, if you're building a hoop house, a greenhouse, something like that, you're going to need to cut metal with it. So let me just show you that if you change the blade on these things, and these blades are really easy to find. Let me show you just a close-up here. This blade, this is a blade for cutting metal. And you can just see that the teeth on that blade are really close together. When you see really close together teeth on a blade like that you just automatically know that's not made to cut wood or anything else but it's just made to cut metal so just to demonstrate how this saw will cut through metal and i'll show you with it cutting through wood but you, you just put it down on there and just let it go and i mean it will it does a good job And there you go. There's a reason it's called a Sawzall. That's its nickname, I guess. But with using different blades, and these blades come in different lengths, out to 12 or 14 inches long, you just cut through virtually anything with them, even things like small firewood, uh, something that's much harder, a metal that's much harder, like an angle iron. It just, you know, they cut through a lot of things. So I just wanted to show you this today. They're good for lots of things. And we're going to get back to cutting up this crepe myrtle and I just want to show you that you can make easy work out of a pretty big pruning job with one battery with the saw. All right and just to contrast this is the blade that I used to cut the metal with here really really fine teeth and this is the blade that I'll be pruning the crepe myrtle with you can see I mean that just looks much more like a saw that you'd cut obviously something like a tree with. So different blades for different different applications. You just pop the button, slip the new blade in, or slip the other blade in, pop the other blade out, change blade in five or 10 seconds. Back out in the front yard now, I'm gonna get to cutting on this tree a little bit, but just to show you, these branches range from, this is one of the smaller ones here. That's probably about a three inch in diameter branch. And this one is 
I'd say five at least, and this was probably five. So there's a lot to cut here. So uh, I'm gonna just get busy and see if we can get this taken down so it doesn't get in the power lines. So my battery did die it got two big cuts left here and then cut up some of the big stuff just a little bit but one battery made it through most of this so that's pretty good so we're gonna keep going now i think this one's going to try to fall towards you so just be aware of that this might be about the biggest one, I don't know. Just like that. All right, guys, so we wrapped that up and cut all that down that I wanted to. And I mean, it's ugly. That's not how you prune a crepe myrtle, but that tree will look really, really nice around July. So it'll bush out and be really good for where it is and all that. But I just wanted to show you this today and what a useful tool a Sawzall is. Santa Claus brought me this one this year, so I've been using it for all kinds of things. And I just wanted to let you know that it's a great tool for any homeowner, any nursery owner. Guys, besides that, Hope y'all are having a good day. I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.